Hi, Jojo. Hi, Zoe. Say hello to the people. No. You're not interested. Hmm? Look at my mom's tree. You see, has all of the family out there. Look at my TJ. There goes me. It's a big one. Yeah. Oh! Look at it's that alligator. It's a big one. That is a big one. You touch it. Oh, let's go! <laughs> you want to do the cha cha slide? Yeah. This is pretty good taste. No, baby, we can You got a cookie for Papa? Shoot! Shoot! Yeah! Yeah! Oh! 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 Keep your socks on the too cold. Alexa, Alexa, play Twinkle Twinkle. That was your song. Alright, so I'm back home. Um, and before I go to sleep, I want to make some more of the hair growth oil. I've been keeping this little container and I'm out of oil. Um, so what is today? The 18th. So I've been on it for about five days now. So I'll show you guys how I make it. All right, so this is her recipe that she has. So I have my coconut oil. And this is avocado. I have olive oil. Um, fenugreek. Seeds. I have seeds and powder. Peppermint, tea tree, castor oil. I'm using cassia instead of henna just because from what I read that henna turns your hair red and I'm like unsure about that right now but probably in the future I may use the henna who knows but cassia is supposed to be uh, neutral so we'll see we'll see we'll see and the MCM powder all right so I got my coconut oil here and she says to not use metal um, so I don't have it in a metal bowl. I'm not using a metal spoon to stir things with. So I have my third cup olive oil. Now I need three-fourths cups olive oil. I mean, three-fourths cups coconut oil, <laughs> three-fourths cups olive oil. And guys, I've been using this oil like whenever I would use a oil. Like I'm not just specifically using it on my scalp or, you know, I don't know. Whenever I would use an oil to seal my hair, oil my scalp, do a deep or a hot oil treatment, I'm using this. So I think that's why I've used quite a bit in 15 days. But if it works, I mean, it should help forever, right? So then I have the MCM powder. And their little scoop here is one teaspoon. So one of those, and then one tablespoon of henna, and I'm gonna use the cassia like I told you guys. <clears throat> I think I am gonna get some henna because I'm about to, I used to dye my hair black all the time. And then I got highlights and I started dyeing it black again but I just kind of let it fade recently. But I think I'm ready to start dyeing it black. So even if henna gives a reddish hue, I won't really notice it because my hair will be black, so. Okay, so that's the tablespoon of henna. And she used to use vitamin C. 
And when I was watching like other videos recently, I saw that she's like, don't use vitamin C, especially if you have colored hair, that it can have a drying effect. So the first batch I used did have vitamin C and I honestly do feel like my hair has been really dry, but um, that could just be me. I've been like blow drying it more recently um, than usual. So, and then a half a cup of fenugreek seeds and I don't know if I have a half a cup, let's see. Yeah, half a cup of fenugreek seeds. And last time I put a little bit of powder in there too. Just cause I'm like, don't that make sense to use powder versus the whole seed? But you know, I'm not the curly proverbs. I'm not the queen on Ayurvedic herbs for your hair. So what do I know? But I think I am going to do a little bit of that today. So this is the fenugreek powder here. I'm going to put a tablespoon in there. And then we need five tablespoons of castor oil. I don't think I have five tablespoons of castor oil. Let's see. No, I don't. It's one. Two. I'm gonna leave this bottle upside down over here and see how much else we can get out of there. I'm gonna substitute with some avocado. Well, no, I won't. I won't, I won't. Look at me trying to veer from the path. I can't help it, I'm a creative. And then she uses five to 10 drops of um, essential oils. So in hers, she uses tea tree, rosemary, and peppermint. I don't have rosemary, so we're just going to use 10 peppermint, 10 tea tree. So these are what I used. Um, one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten. Might as well put the rest in there. And then 10 tea tree. One, one, two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And I'm gonna wait for this to kind of get down to the bottom, stir it up real good. And I was storing it in a old glass tea jar, but I'm all out of my coconut container. So we're gonna reduce, reuse, recycle, and put it all in here. And then I, I pour it into this little applicator bottle when I'm ready to use it, so. But yeah, this is how I make it. And like I said, it only lasted me 15 days. She says it could last up to three, um, three weeks to a month if it's stored in a dark place. And I do keep it in a dark place, so I wasn't nervous about it going bad or anything like that. So yeah. This is my container drawer. That is all. I'm actually gonna use this glass container. This is also another glass container. I was just thinking I really wouldn't be able to see, like in this, I could see where, you know, the herbs and stuff settled to the bottom and when the oil was ready for me to put into my little applicator, but I wouldn't really be able to tell in there. So I'm gonna put it in this one. I have my funnel. And last time I sieved out all of the fenugreek seeds, but this time I'm just gonna leave them in there. Maybe the longer they soak, the better the health benefits. So yeah, this is it. So like I said, last time I sieved out the seeds, so it really wasn't that much oil, you know, that you get from it when you think about it, but I'm gonna seal it up. This has a container lid and keep it underneath my sink. 
until it kind of starts to filter down and become more clear. And then I'll put it into this container. Okay, have a good night, guys. Happy Vlogmas!